Hi everyone! Welcome to Fendic Theatre for Children's YouTube channel. My name is Blake, and for the past couple of weeks, I've gotten to work with some pretty cool kids with the Fendic Theatre Experience Spring 2021 Acting Workshop. 19 kids from four American time zones worked really hard to make the performances that you are about to see. The Zoom play that you're about to see was sponsored by White County United Way, the Jasper Newton Foundation, Indiana United Way, with funding provided by Lilly Endowment, Inc. Listen as three soldiers share their unique soup recipe, one good deed at a time, enjoy Stone Soup, a radio play. Three soldiers trudged down a road in a strange country. They were trying to get home from the wars. Besides being tired, they were hungry. In fact, they had eaten nothing for two days. Oh, how I would like a good dinner tonight. Ah, uh, and a bed to sleep in. But all that is impossible. We must march on. On they marched. Suddenly, ahead of them, they saw the lights of a village. Maybe we could find a bite to eat there. And a loft to sleep in. No harm in asking. Now the peasants of that place were afraid of strangers. When they heard that three soldiers were coming down the road, they talked among themselves. Look, look, soldiers. Ha, huh, soldiers. S soldiers are always hungry. And we have little enough for ourselves. Yeah. The people hurried to hide their food. Sacks of grain we hid under the hay in the haylofts. Buckets of milk down the wells. We spread old quilts over the bins of root vegetables. Cabbages and potatoes under the beds. Meat in the cellars. We hid all of our food. Then we waited. Good evening, good people. Could you spare a bit of food for three hungry soldiers? Oh, we have had no food for ourselves for three days. It's been a very poor harvest this year. Yeah. Have you somewhere we might sleep for one night? Oh, no. Our beds are full. Yeah. The soldiers went from door to door. Not one family had a morsel to give away. It had been a poor harvest. All the grain must be kept for seed or feed for the livestock. One family had a sick father to care for. All had too many mouths to feed. <sighs> <sighs> Good people. We have three hungry soldiers in a strange land. We have asked you for food and you say you haven't got enough food to share. It seems all you have too much of is stones. So the only thing to do is... To make... Stone soup. S stone soup? I've never heard of such a thing. What? How? Oh, you can't make soup from stones. We can show you how. First, we need a large pot. The biggest you can find. I know where to find one. That is none too large. But it'll have to do. Now we need water to fill it and a fire to heat it. It took many buckets of water to fill the pot. A fire was built on the village square and the pot was set to boil. And now, if you please, three round smooth stones. Those were easy enough to find. The peasants' eyes grew round as they watched the stones drop into the pot the soldiers began to stir. Any soup needs salt and pepper. I know where to get some. Stones like these generally make good soup. But oh, if there were carrots, it would be much better. Why, I think I might have an old carrot or two. She came right back with her apron full of carrots from the bin beneath her red quilt. A good stone soup should have cabbage. But there's no use in asking what you don't have. I, I think 
I could find a cabbage somewhere. Back she came with three cabbages from under her bed. Now, if only we had a... but no. What? If we only had a what? No, it's no use. That's just not possible. What? Tell us. Well, we were just thinking. What? Well, if only we had a bit of beef. A little barley. And just a cup of milk. This soup would be... Would be good enough for a rich man's table. In fact, the king requested such a soup when he last dined with us. But it's no use for asking what you just don't have. Potatoes. Beef. Barley. Milk. The soldiers had entertained the king. A rich man's soup, all from a few stones. It must be magic. The peasants brought their barley from the lofts. They brought their buckets of milk up from the wells. The soldiers stirred the barley and milk into the steaming broth while the peasants stared wide-eyed. At last, the soup was ready. Hooray! Hooray! All of you shall taste. There is enough for everyone. But first the table must be set. Great tables were placed in the square and all around were lighted torches. Such a soup. How good it smells. Truly fit for a king. With such a soup, we need some bread and a roast and cider. Soon a banquet was spread and everyone sat down to eat. Never had there been such a feast. Never had the peasants tasted such a soup. And what do you think? Made from stones? They ate and drank and drank and ate. And after that, they danced. They danced far into the night. At last, they were tired. <sighs> <sighs> Is there not a loft where we could sleep? Let three such wise and splendid men sleep in a hayloft? Indeed, they must have the best beds in the village. So the first soldier slept. In the priest's house. The second soldier slept. In the baker's house. And the third soldier slept. In the mayor's house. In the morning, the whole village gathered in the square to give them a send-off. Many thanks for what you have taught us. We shall never go hungry now. Now that we know how to make soup from stones. Oh, it's all in the knowing how. And off they went down the road. Such men don't grow on every bush. Through sharing, we all become richer. Thanks for watching our performance. To make sure you never miss anything Fendic has to offer, be sure to like this video and subscribe to our channel. Bye!